Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And I thought, yeah, a Russian classic it is, IS-3. Let's play a bit with this vehicle. And I noticed this tank has a sexy skin, which I never used. So why the heck not to do so? So all in all, I believe every single of you are familiar with IS-3. It is pretty much a classic of the game. And I want to believe this is kind of never dying classic of the game. I mean, how you can kill the IS-3, right? Um, it is still completely fine nowadays. What this tank is capable of doing, this tank has 390 alpha damage, 225mm of penetration, 1000 shell velocity, which is completely fine. And it has gold ammunition of 265mm of penetration and 1250 nine shell velocity so it doesn't look bad whatsoever now what is the best thing about this tank is it is pretty damn accurate and i'm not joking i truly mean it fellas this vehicle can actually hit like a truck full of dildos it is absolutely insanity what this tank can do and once again, even though it might look uh, not that great after the very first shot, you know, I need to warm up uh, my cell fellas. It is not so simple. I need, I need a minute or two. I need to shoot a couple of shells in order to um, start working properly, if you know what I mean. My brain needs some fuel as well. So, I believe it's fair to say it doesn't look like this gentleman is going to go up, so what we need to do, we need to actually figure out how we can punish enemies whenever they will make a bit of pressure. That's what we need to do. I could potentially try to play here and try to play against Vaka. I think this might be a good idea. Let's go. Yeah, the Vaka is super heavy tank. I am very, very well aware of that, but I am playing with a Russian IS-3, right? And Russian IS-3 has no fears whatsoever. There is nothing for me to be afraid of. Right into the lower plate, we are losing the trades, but the best thing of all this is I am going to reload faster than this gentleman will, and since I'm reloading faster, we are going to spank him once again. Now, until he will start pushing in front, until he will get a proper angle to shoot us, and so on, so on, we are going to be able to shoot him once again. Too bad I missed the shot, but that's fine. This is what IS-3 is capable of doing. You can, you need to respect this vehicle. It's just how it goes. You need to show respect for this vehicle. Even though the tank is pretty old, to be completely honest with you. And I believe every single of you know this. I believe every single of you know this. This is one of the older tanks. Everything is fine. He's down to one shotable. Great. Meanwhile, Love peeking sideways. We are spanking Love. That's good, good, good. Now, I would love to see this guy being tracked sideways. It would be absolutely amazing, but I do not really think it will be such a simple task. In order to keep him tracked here, I need to shoot him. Hey, wait a second. Why you do not have repair kit? That's the question, my man. I mean, repair speed of yours is quite bad, my man. Okay, okay. So far, so good. 1.5 thousand damage dealt. We are feeling great. We are feeling very, very good, fellas. 1.4 thousand assisting slash tracking damage, which is always nice and always welcome. And at this point... All I want to do, I want to figure out the proper angle to punish this scorpion. Now high explosive on and a beautiful shot incoming in 3, 2, 1 now. Unfortunately, not a penetration, but that's fine. We are not going to cry over it and we are going to prepare to eliminate uh, the Vaka. At least that's what I want to believe. Also, wait a second. There is plenty of them waiting here on the corner. Hmm. How we can get involved and how we can start eliminating them from the game? This is the question. Not an easy one. And we need to figure out how to solve this problem. Oh, Scorpion going through the middle of the field. Nice. This is exactly what I want to see. So, watch this. Now we are taking our time to pray him properly and we should see him in a moment. And he is taking one for the team. This is what IS-3 is capable of doing. Uh... Once again, on the paper, it might not look like very great tank nowadays. And probably this is a discussion, is this tank that great as it used to be nowadays? Uh, but to be completely honest with you, I just can't... My tongue is not able to say anything bad about this vehicle. And when the tongue is saying... 
When the tongue is not working, when the tongue is saying absolutely not, I'm not going to shit talk this tank, this is what you are getting. And once again, looking into this result, it doesn't look bad whatsoever, I would say. This is a solid, solid, solid game. We have close to 4000 combined, obviously we are not done yet, there is still a lot of things what we need to do and what we can do in this kind of situation. Now we will take a second to pre-aim for the S1 sitting somewhere around this area, there is a big chance the torn wagon is going to spot him, unfortunately I missed very very easy shot here but yeah shit happens I guess. Aim better mother trucker, aim better, probably that's what I can say. He was thinking about dropping down, but you know, unlucky, what can I say? Unlucky. Meanwhile, we have the ISM sitting around this area. I do not really mind this gentleman that much. Why so? Because we are spotting him and we are getting the sweet assisting damage. So we are sitting on the 5000 combined currently and we still can get quite a bit of the use for ourselves. Obviously. This budget is quite annoying and probably he is sitting around this area if I need to guess, but I am not going for a budget for now. What I care about, I care about this jet, uh, about the Panther um, 44. Unfortunate for me, fellas, I am missing my shot, which happens, you know, um, the guns can treat you not so well once in a while, that's okay. Meanwhile, we are trying to escape. I have a feeling... I have a feeling we should be able to snapshot him without asking his name. Let's see, can we do this? 3, 2, 1, BAM! <laughs> While dropping, fellas. While dropping. And here we go. We have extremely nice angle. Good luck penetrating us. Taking our time to hit the shot. And here you go. The Russian classic, fellas. The Russian classic. I would love to say something bad about this tank. And yes, gun handling is not ideal. Um, but in this situation, it worked completely fine. It worked completely fine. Plus, on top of that, fellas, I have two skills on this vehicle. So this is another thing. <coughs> I, I don't really think I have even repairs on this vehicle yet. So yeah. Anyways, luckily we wasn't into too much of the heat, uh, luckily for us we made this tank work perfectly, and what do we have fellas, we have a casual ace, beautiful, thank you very much for ace, I appreciate you, 3.6 thousand damage, 2.7 thousand assisting damage, uh, casual 1.4 base experience, and we made quite a bit of profits as well, which is nice. Here you go, fellas. You don't believe in me, IS3 can bite and IS3 can work. Come on, it can. Let's go for round number two. Okay, round number two. Fjords, unfortunately for us, losing spawn. Not much what we can change about this, I guess. So, how we are going to open our game? I have a feeling he is baboon. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling he is baboon indeed. <laughs> Uh, that was a cute one. Fellas, he is baby baboon. I repeat, he is baby baboon. Anyways, um, what do we want to do at first? At first we want to take this position over there. The main reason why do we want to take this position over there? Because we can punish enemies who, whenever they are thinking about something silly. So if you would pay attention to this gentleman who is trying to go on top of the hill, I would say that's silly enough. We are taking some time to aim and we are spanking him into the fuel tanks. At least we are trying to lit him on fire. Unfortunately, no luck there, but that's okay. We have our opening, we have our first shot of damage. We are not feeling bad about this whatsoever. And once again, this is only the start. Whenever enemies will um, do something silly, for example, peeking like this, we are going to spank them once again. And since we knock at the trees to this direction, that means it is covering us from the guy who is pretty much peeking over there. Always think about the three cover boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely amazing amazing and it is very important part of the game because knock it down trees can behave like bushes and what is happening when you are sitting in the bush you are a pussy now i mean uh, you have a camo cover don't be so serious fellas chill relax take it easy we are here to have some fun we are here to have so some fun okay some cover action shit 
Let's see, do we have a decent enough angle to penetrate him? I would say we do. Unfortunately, we did not manage to do so, but that's only the start. And soon we will get involved here. Meanwhile, Škoda is thinking about going through the middle of the field. Very lovely. Thank you very much. Another shot. Good. It will stack up over time, fellas. It is not going to be that simple for enemies to, um, to push this side at this point. And this is exactly what we are looking for. All we want to see, we want to see enemies doing the silly goose decisions. Going through the open field. Trying to relocate somewhere. And whenever they are doing that, we are saying, Oh, 400 alpha damage is waiting for you. Just make a mistake. And this is what World of Tanks is. You are having a good position, which is better than others. At least you are trying to take this kind of position. And all you need to do, you need to open your eyes and you need to spank enemies every single time whenever they are messing up or whenever they are doing something silly, right? That's all you need to do. And fellas, don't feel too bad whenever you are having a bad game, whenever uh, um, you are the one who is getting slapped, it happens for the best of us, and I would love to say... Uh, I have no fails whatsoever or anyone else have no fails whatsoever. Oh boys, oh boys. You would be surprised. Everyone can fail. Oh! Everyone can fail. Everyone can make a mistake. Everyone can try to ride the enemy tanks like there is no tomorrow. Just like so. So, you know. Uh, this is World of Tanks, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And... Uh, I don't know how about you, but I prefer enjoying the game, you know? Obviously, there is some grinds which are not so enjoyable, and I believe every single person can say the same thing. For example, uh, from my point of view, whenever I am playing for one or another mark of excellence, it can be a bit of the painful uh, situation and a bit of uh, a painful journey when I can be sad, when I can be angry, when I can scream. But in the same time, we have situations like this when we are are riding enemies like there is no tomorrow and we are actually enjoying ourselves if you know what I mean so that's just great and this is what world of tanks is right don't you think it's fun because I think world of tanks can destroy your mood and world of tanks can make you very happy in the same time okay let's teleport to the battle to the end of this game because i have a feeling uh, i am kind of stuck <laughs> look at this look at this he showed the way fellas he showed the way uh, such a beautiful 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 person okay let's teleport to the end of this game and we are back, fellas, uh, with a 2.3 thousand damage and 400 assisting damage. Not the best game ever by any means, uh, but uh, I can show you one thing. Whenever you are drowning someone, for example, someone is under the water, you are tracking him, or alternatively, you are just pushing someone into the water, you are getting the critical hits, right? So pretty much all crew members are drowning and you are getting extra crits for yourself. Keep this in mind and this might be useful whenever you are are working on the critical damage mission for example anyways all in all we finish a third by experience third by the damage we made 68,000 profits so that's not bad by any shape and by any form so let's go for around number three shall we and we are back fellas steps and counter game okay interesting so what is the point and what we can do over there i think i am going to sit here in the heavy line and I will try to hold it. I think this is the right way to play for us this game. Obviously, I could go into the cap and I could try to eliminate the guys who will try to be super aggressive. But I want to believe this is the right strategy and this is the right play. Plus, on top of that, the best thing of all this, we do not really need to move that far away in order to get into the action, in order to start spanking enemies at the first place, right? So that's what I am thinking. So the first things first, we are taking this typical bush over there and we are just waiting until enemies will mess up. And mess up they will, fellas. It is matter of the time. Prototype, boom, good shot to the prototype, 355 and prototype is going in the garage faster than um faster than 
one minute into the game. Interesting, interesting. I don't really think he enjoyed himself to the maximum with all honesty, but mistakes were made from this gentleman's side. Obviously, the type 61 is not really paying too much attention at the Scorpion who is sitting over there, which is once again completely understandable. He is focusing on the E50 who is playing here in the middle. I do not want to block his shot, so that means... I am going to this position uh, after he will stop paying attention here and now we can play. All we need to do in this kind of situation and in this position overall is we need to focus on the enemies, whoever is over peaking, whoever is making a silly goose mistake and whoever is, uh, um, you know, in a way trying to play the game if I can say so. Okay. I don't really think they have a sniper schnitzel over there and someone is able to penetrate the tortoise, so tortoise is questioning his life decisions, he is thinking, <laughs> why the flying F, I was so aggressive, I feel him. I questioned myself uh, this so many times when you are feeling like you are a powerhouse, when you felt like you can go in front and you can destroy everything, but in reality you are the one who is getting destroyed. So believe me, I feel this gentleman very, very well. Meanwhile, we loaded the gold ammunition for Oho for obvious reasons, because we want to spank him and we want to eliminate him from the game, and he should be dead in the next one second, dead. Excellent, very, very good. Once again, from this position we are trying to support our tortoise as much as we physically and possibly can, and I am feeling pretty good with this start of this game. The worst part of all this, our team is kind of capping the base. And this is not exactly what I am looking for with all honesty, I hope our team is not going to cap, but you know, time will show absolutely everything, 38 seconds on the timer left. Ay, 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 ay. Well, if our team is going to cap the base, luckily it is not the case. Thank you very much, enemy Arta, probably for this, or whoever is just going YOLO in like this. Thank you. We appreciate you. Now, what I could do, I could try to make pressure through the middle like this and, uh, and start spanking this IS-6. Uh, but the thing is, the biggest problem for us is we are going to meet this Leo who is sitting around this area. So that might be quite problematic and this can be definitely annoying. So you know what? I am up to take the... I am not up to take the risk. I do not want to take the risk. It is not worth it. Calm down skill. Stop your horses. Stop your horses. You do not want to make pressure here. All you need to do, you need to stay calm, you need to stay put, and we, you need to hold this position over there. That's all you need to do. And once again, whenever enemies will start getting involved into all of this, we are going to spank them like there is no tomorrow. That's all we need to do in this kind of situation. We do not need to shit our pants, it is way too early to do that. Instead of shitting our pants, we can simply hold this line and we can punish enemies whenever they are doing something silly. That's all we need to do at this point. And uh, in the same time, I am pretty sure our team could hold enemies playing here as well. Hmm. Okay. I do not know who is spotting me, but it could be the same IS-3. Okay, okay, IS-3, I see. I see what you are doing. Look. I have an idea. How about if uh, we will F off here from uh, um, together with Emil? I am thinking how about if we would allow enemies to get a bit more aggressive, so we would have Shrek support and we would have uh, and we would have someone else who can snipe from over there. I think this is about the time to say goodbye. Emil he had a chance to escape. Probably he still has it. But for that he needs to look into the minimap. And I cannot help the person who is not looking into the maximap, you know? Yeah, unfortunate. He just unloaded and at this point he is going to get gangbanged. Okay. Um, well, I hope he is going to enjoy this. I don't really think I could help him in this kind of situation. Uh, so yeah. I still leave uh, Emil alone. Sure thing I do. What do you expect? No problem, pleasure is mine, go back buddy, go back. The main reason why I did this, right, is 
it is not really that beneficial to hold five guns um, whenever we are two over there because whenever enemies will say blah, 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 we are going to get slaughtered so we cannot do this we just simply can't you know and yes he's holding uh, them as much as he can if he would escape somewhere over there we have so much more support we have a shrek over there we have the um scorpion g we have a waffle cock and as you can see more and more and more and more enemies are arriving to this position and yes ml has a bit of the armor but let's get real if scorpion is loading the gold ammunition uh, ml has no armor whatsoever so we need to accept this uh, do I stand by my decision? I would say yes. I would say that wasn't a bad uh, decision by any shape or by any form. I think I would still do the same thing. I am pretty sure I would still do the same thing. The biggest problem of all this though is I kind of I kind of expected I kind of expected the Leo to um, make a hardcore pressure like this as well. You know, that's what I was expecting. But that's fine, we are feeling good. Thanks. Thanks. GG IS3. Pleasure is mine, you know. Pre pleasure to help you, mate. Once again, I do not feel guilty for the situation like this or for a decision like this. I just do not feel guilty. I don't see why would I. I simply do not see why would I feel guilty about that. Okay, moving on next. Let's see. Can we spank this IS-6? Not a very easy shot, I would say. No peak. Ooh. Okay, unlucky for this gentleman. Now we can go one against one. Now I'm pretty sure enemy list escaped from this position. So what that basically means, that basically means we can get involved. I will try to make pressure via this direction. Hopefully it will work just fine for us. And yes, that did not work that fine for us. Leo is in the back. Not exactly what I am looking for, but that's what we have. Luckily for us, Liz is not shooting the gold ammunition. So that's pretty damn good thing for us. Uh, can I spank him in the face? This is the question. The answer is absolutely yes. Beautiful. Doesn't really change too much, to be completely honest with you, unless he's going to kill me there. Luckily for me he didn't and at this point we can actually get involved against the Mr. Liz. We are obviously spotting him which is great and this Leo is doing such a, uh, he is such an annoying son of the banana. At this point I have a feeling our um, Progetto will hunt the Liz down so I am feeling relatively fine with that and we are trying to build the nice angle to punish um, the Leo sitting over there and as you can see Leo is waiting here. Nice, we are going up, we are taking our time Time to aim and we are saying no enjoyed sniping from the back enjoyed sniping from the back me too i am i am in love with this once again i'm not saying the leopard did a bad decision leopard played very very well and he did everything properly here so yeah good in the end of the day we are winning game i think once again uh what we have done i stand by our decision by my decision right to relocate from here to here and allow enemies to uh, get a bit more involved so they can bleed out slowly and if we are doing um, things like this uh, we are feeling pretty damn well in the end of the day it is a victory and that uh, and this is what matters the most meanwhile our type 61 is on fire he will hit a 430 once undoubtedly so after that we can try to um, eliminate the 430 from the game. I'm weird about the Arta. Arta could sit even over there or somewhere here in the back, but doesn't change anything, honestly. It doesn't change anything. Okay, what could happen? If this guy escaped from the cap, maybe he is trying to get somewhere over there. And if it is going to be the case, we should have a perfect side shot for this gentleman. So let's see. 
Let's see, is it the case is he trying to run like this? Oh yes, he is, side shot, dead, excellent, excellent, excellent. Trying to rig brother in arms together with a Progetto, which is, which should work for us, at least I hope so. And now we need to find where the flying F clicker is. Clicker is sitting right there, good. He is going to get banged by the Progetto, he is lit on fire and game over. Nice! Very, very, very solid game, fellas. I'm feeling happy with this, and I think in the end of the day, a score is proving us right. Nice, excellent. So score overall, 15 to 12, very close game. Um, we had only like one and a half thousand hit points left, or let's say, let's say flat 2,000 hit points left. It is very rare to have games like this nowadays. Usually it is like 15 to 1 or 1 to 15 or 5 to 15, 15 to 5, whatever, you name it. But luckily for us in this situation, everything went very, very well. Excellent. First of all, we are saying thanks for this gentleman for rigging brother in arms together. And in the end of the day, we have 3.3,000 um, damage, 400 assisting damage, 19,000 profits, which is absolutely amazing. And in the end of the day, we have 3.1,000 damage, 1.2,000 assisting damage. <laughs> IS3 is going ham, fellas. So, you tell me, looking into this, is IS3 still okay tank nowadays? Because I think it bloody is. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. I hope you are very, very well entertained and I hope you had a great time together with us. Obviously, thank you very much for your time, for watching the videos. Obviously, big fat thanks for using index page. I hope you are finding this useful and in the same time, people who are clicking that join button in the YouTube Aka supporting us directly. Thank you very much. Obviously, for our lovely patrons, thank you very much, patrons. For people who are purchasing bananas in the index page, for people who are tuning in into the stream and saying hi, directly thank you i hope you are well i hope you are enjoying yourself and i can't wait to see you next time take care fellas Brrr.